So for today's experiment, we're going to be painting with milk. So all you're going to need for this experiment is some um, watercolor paper. We have some dish soap here. So I have about a half a cup of milk. Now I'm using regular um, cow's milk, but you can use other kinds of milk if you'd like. We have some different food coloring options, some Q-tips, and then any kind of flat dish. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your milk and you're going to pour it into the dish. Now you don't need a whole lot, you just want enough to cover the bottom. So that's the half a cup and I'm just kind of going to move it around so that my whole dish is covered. So the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your food coloring and you're going to put a couple of drops of each into the milk. So you can use whatever colors you'd like. This is just a neon pack that I used. So you're going to kind of spread them around in the milk. So I'm going to put a couple of drops for each color. Now while you're getting ready for this, you do want to make sure that your um, watercolor paper is going to be small enough to fit in your tray. So like you can see here, I had to cut mine. I kept the pieces that I cut off because I'm just going to make little bookmarks out of it. So you can use the whole piece, but you just want to make sure that it's small enough to fit in the dish once your milk is in there. So I'm going to put a couple extra drops. Okay. So the next thing that you're going to do is take a Q-tip and you're going to put it in your soap. So you want to put enough on there that you can see that the whole Q-tip is covered in the soap. And you can put it in. And if you touch the food coloring, you can see that it kind of explodes away. So you're just going to play with that a little bit and just kind of let it do its own thing. So you can kind of mix the colors and just play around with it. So after you kind of touch each section one time, um, it's going to stop moving around. So then you can kind of, you can take your Q-tip and you can swirl it around, make whatever pattern you want. And then you're going to take your paper and you're going to take the watercolor side of it and just put it face down and then you're going to bring it up. So I have behind my station, I've put a piece of wax paper so that after I put my paper in there, so it looks like that, I can move it over and I'm just going to set them there and I'm going to let them dry. So you'll let your sheets dry for about an hour and then they'll be done.